Hey folks, it's day nine of the 12 Days of Procreate. I'm James, and I am super excited to share what is literally the reason that you and I are both here right now. You watching this video series and me having made it, and that is time-lapse video replay. Video replay allows you to play back and share your entire design process for your own benefit, but it also gives you amazing material for your marketing. Whether you use it to create TikTok and Instagram content, or to add videos of your design process to your website, or just to remind yourself that you really are a great designer, even if I'm not around every day to remind you of that. So get out your iPads, download the original Procreate files I use in this video, and get ready to imagine the possibilities for your own future with the miracle of time-lapse video replay. And what is time-lapse replay? Well, here it goes. Time-lapse replay basically recreates or shows every stroke you used in creating a drawing. And you can leave it at this predetermined speed and just watch it. Or if you're short on time or you already know what you're looking for, you can touch your finger to the screen and pull your finger across one way or the other to go either back in time or forward in time, okay? And then you can lift your finger if you need to you can pause it at a certain point and then you can take it all the way back to the original. Now, I believe that these, this creates a huge opportunity for marketing for you and meaning that you can either export these time-lapse videos as is either full length or 30 in 30 second compressed version. So the obvious benefit is that you can use this on your Instagram account or even your TikTok account or create your own YouTube channel and share what you do with others. But you can also share it with your clients. And it's very simple to take one of these exports and I'll do the 30 second export in this case. And you can see they're very quick the way they export. And you can copy this or airplay it. I usually, I beg your pardon, airdrop it. I usually end up airdropping mine. And it's not showing up now, but I'll airdrop it back to my main computer. And then I'll open that MP4 file. I'll open that file in iMovie or Final Cut Pro. And then you can alter the speed of it and add notes and add voiceover and turn it really into your own thing. And some of these, some of these animations can be quite entertaining. Wonderful. Let's just do one quick one here. I keep looking for one to use. And here is the sketch I made of the Villa Savoy in video replay. To play that back, I go back into the actions menu I'm already in video replay, but if you were in something else, just tap on video. I'll play the time-lapse replay, and I can reconstruct how I used all of these wonderful Procreate tools to make a sketch of, of Corbusier's design in only about an hour. And that's something that would have taken me longer to do by hand, but it, I get so much more out of it, these amazing colors. And you can see that it's largely because of the very tools and techniques we've been using. Here I go again with my sky and my ground plane, just like we did in our exercises. Earlier, I laid out the proportions using drawing assist and using the pencil. And then I put in the major planes with selection, select and fill techniques, all on their own layers. And it wasn't until I was perhaps 10 minutes into the drawing that I had to worry about any, any kind of hand-drawn details. But I used the Taralia brush for the background trees. And I used our technique of the selection tool in freehand mode to do select and fill of these shadows caused by the trees behind me. And I built up some more with a Taralia brush, built up these areas of tone and shadow, but still keeping the trees 
very vague um, and slightly abstract because I, I'm trying to do all of this in kind of a, a style, almost like a vintage travel poster. And you can see I use the smudge tool, or I believe this was the turpentine brush, to make those sort of wispy clouds that were happening on that day. And if you look very closely, you can see the carbon brush used for this kind of subtle texture. I'll see if I can enlarge it. Yeah, you can see that. I think I've got that brush name wrong, but it's it's the one at the bottom of our texture stack, and it has that texture to it. And I thought that was a very architectural texture, which looked good. And you can see I apparently thought better of adding trees in the foreground, but they were done with that same select and fill technique. So this is a whole new way to sketch while you're traveling and sketch with vivid color without having to use watercolors and watercolor brushes and have a lot of water. And as I've said many times, you can see me learning about color, like this idea of this violet color. It was appealing for a little while, but then I thought, no, let me, let me just get more architectural with that. And I turned it into kind of a greenish gray. So I can't say enough about the selection tool and the video replay tool. And it really is the, the reason that we're spending time together now. So I hope you'll find all kinds of uses for it. And I hope you'll use it to get yourself new and more exciting work all the time. And don't forget that everything you've learned in this series is developed in much greater depth than the Procreate Accelerator, an online course you can learn more about in the description below. To see the next video in the series, click on this image and I will see you in the next lesson.